Child abuse in our society is, is, is much too common and it is very sad. One in four girls, one in six boys will be abused before they reach 18 years of age. 90% of those children and young people know who the perpetrator is. So stranger danger in many ways is almost a myth. About 60% of children who are sexually abused don't disclose until later in life, if at all. And children who are abused are 40% more likely to be arrested for violent crime than normal children. So the incidence is quite large. What's more important for people to understand about child abuse is the effect that it has on each and every single child. We believe that child abuse affects the child's development pathways of their brain which could result in physical, cognitive, emotional, social defects that are carried with them for the rest of their lives. So the work that we do is not only about providing care and support and love, but actually to try and reverse the damage that's done to those children's brains. We get our money from a number of sources. We provide contracts for both state and federal government. Um, about 64% uh, of our money comes from contracts that we do for state government, uh, predominantly the Department for Child Protection and the Education Department. Um, and then a small percentage of our money comes from contracts with local government and a small percent of our money comes from contracts with federal government. All in all, that amounts to around 68-70% of our money. About 30% of our money comes from corporate and community philanthropy. Um, so essentially, people who support the work that Parkerville do, people who are touched uh, by the effect of abuse on children, and people that want to make a real difference. So each year we need to... We need to resource our services by going out to corporate and community philanthropists and asking for their support. Um, people can help Parkerville in a number of ways. Obviously you've heard me just talk about how we get money from our corporate and community philanthropists, so money is certainly helpful. But it's actually not always about money. Uh, we get a lot of support in our corporate volunteer program where corporate organisations come and they volunteer a day of their staff's time to come and work at one of our sites. Um, what that does for us, it enables us to give them a message about abuse. It also gives us that free labour for the day so that they can do some work. You can't put a price on that. Um, that's incredibly valuable and that's been growing. Uh, individuals can come and help and be a volunteer. Uh, they can help be a holiday host or a volunteer that does reading with children or playing with children or taking children out for activities. Um, we have professionals that do pro bono work for us, lawyers, architects, engineers. Um, that is incredibly valuable. But if people haven't got the time, if they haven't got the money, people can still become aware of child abuse. And if people visit our website and take some time to actually really understand the effect of abuse on our children, and then they go out and tell five other people, that's helping the work that we do, because that's helping the children that we look after. I'd like to think that it would be, but for that to happen, abuse as we know it, would not exist. And I don't think we're there yet. I think in the last decade we've seen an increase in people's understanding about abuse. I'd like to see that increased even more. But abuse is still there. It's still rife in our society. And abuse spares no economic status. It spares no ethnic group. Abuse can occur in any place 
at any time with any family. What we need to do as society is become more aggressive, more assertive in having a no tolerance to child abuse. And then maybe one day, perhaps in my grandchildren's time, we might see Parkerville Children and Youth Care Campus turned into a corporate wellness clinic or something of that nature. But as long as abuse exists, we will continue to serve the most vulnerable population in our society. Thank you.